yes, you forgot your password. Like, seriously. And you don't even have to really know that you forgot your password. I just know that I forgot your password. And what I'm going to do today is to reset your password on your behalf. And then after which logging into your account on your behalf. So I'm helping you out here because I forgot your password and you forgot your password. Yes, exactly. So this is going to be what the tutorial will be about today. No, I'm not hacking you. I'm just helping you out. And of course, if you don't want me to log into your account directly, then you got to subscribe to the channel so that you can get notified whenever someone else get logged in from my end. Yes, whenever I'm helping people, not whenever I'm hacking people. So let me show you exactly what's going on in terms of the flow of the data and why this vulnerability exists. So over here, you have the hacker who then target the application or the web server in this case. The hacker then changes the host into the hacker's address. And as a result of that, the code, which is used for resetting the password, is now sent over into the hacker's server. So you can see right here, by manipulating the host header, we now can send the request information over into the hacker's computer. So right in front of us, we have the following assignment. So we have try to reset the password of Tom to your own choice and log in as Tom with that password. So you can see it right here. OK, so what we're doing here is to target Tom and after which to be able to reset the password and then logging in with the new password that we have set for Tom. OK, so this is what we are looking out for. So the next thing we can do is just take a look at what is considered as a normal process. So what I'll do now is I'll go ahead and target the following, which is the account access. So we'll go ahead and log into Hacker Alloy's email and password to try to forget the password for that. All right, so you can see right here, forgot your password. So what we do now is go ahead and click on our forgot your password. And once you click then, what we want to do now is to fill in the email. So let's go ahead and enter Hacker Alloy at webgoat-cloud.org. So once you clicked on that, go ahead and click continue. So once you click continue, it states the following. An email has been sent to hackerloy at webgoat-cloud.org. So jumping over into our mailbox, you can see the following right here. So I'm logged in as Hacker Alloy. So you can see on the top right corner. All right. And what we can do now is to go ahead and take a look at the new email that has been sent to us. So you can see here, hi, you requested a password reset link. Please use this link to reset your password. So you'll be able to know that once we clicked on that, this gives us the opportunity to reset the password. So before we clicked on that, I want to show you something else in terms of trying to intercept the request for Tom. So jumping back over into your forget password, I'll go to the top right corner. I'll go ahead and click on the burst sweep to be our interceptor. And what I'll do now is go ahead and open up terminal. All right. So once we have a terminal, I can go ahead and enter the following, which is burp sweep n. All right. So to run this as our interceptor, and I'll show you how can we modify the request so that we can begin picking up all those different type of requests that are coming in, and then after which sending them over into our own email. So let's go ahead and click start burp. And you can see right here, okay, we got starting the project. Go under the proxy tab, ensure that you have proxy tab, the intercept is on. All right, so you can see here, we have intercept is on. So once intercept is on, what you can do now is you can go ahead and jump back over into WebGoate, and I now can enter Tom at webgoat-cloud.org, click continue. And now you can see the interception has been put in place. So if I jump over back into Burp Suite, or I can forward those of the others that are commonly being sent as requests, okay? And then after which, once we have the interception for Tom, what we can do and see here is the following. We have a post to web code, password reset, phone code, password, create password reset link. And then we have a host and we have an email right here. So what I can do now is I can go ahead and do a right click and I can send it over into repeater. So once we're in repeater, what I can do now is you can see here, we're targeting into a specific host. All right. So this is the part that we are trying to break into. So we want it to send somewhere else so we can target a different IP address, a different port number. So in this case, what I'm going to do now is to go ahead and go to the following, all right, which is to change this over to port 9090. So if I go back over into the browser, I go back into my mailbox, you can see that our mailbox is targeted towards 9090, all right? So this is web oof mail. So if I jump back over into Burp Suite and in three, two, one, I click send, you can see the following, all right? An email has been sent to Tom, 
all right, at webgo-cloud.org. And the assignment is resettling assignment for God password. So we're intercepting this in our own mailbox. So if I jump back over into the browser, into the mailbox, I go over under the incoming request over here. Okay, so let me go ahead and click turn off for burp suite. Click on the incoming request. We can see a new incoming request right at the bottom here. Okay, you can see 332. Open it up and you can see the following. This is a new code for us as part of being able to hijack into the account or the password reset. So do a right click, copy on this, jump back over to your mailbox, okay? Click back onto the email that you got, go ahead and click onto the link. So it opens up right here. So instead, if you look under the address bar, so what we'll do now is we'll change up this code to the one that we got in earlier. Hit enter on this. Okay, so now we're trying to reset Tom's password. Let's go ahead and enter the password. So I will not let you know what exactly is the password. So guess what password I'm going to enter. Okay, so I enter the following, all right? And then I can go ahead and click Save. So once I click Save, it states the following password, change successfully. It means that now we are able to log in into Tom with the new password that's been set. Wait, what, you don't believe that I've just changed your password? Well, let me just show you how I can log into it with the new password that I've set for you. Now, if I jump back over into the login, so let's go ahead and click on our account access. Right here, I can enter Tom's email address, and then I can enter the password, all right? So this is the password that I have set, all right? So what I can do now is go ahead in three, two, one, click access. Congratulations. You have successfully completed the assignment. We are in. It's game over. You're most welcome. Me helping you reset your password. That's nothing. So once again, I hope you've learned something valuable in today's tutorial. If you need help being able to reset your password for you, enter your email address onto the comment section.